Hello, this is Dimitri with you Kids LLC, U Gears US. Uh, today we're going to be doing assembly of uh, U Gears carousel. Um, this model, let's see, it's got uh, 300 pieces, uh, so it shouldn't be too bad or too long of assembly. And uh, let's start off as always by opening up the um, box. Checking out what's inside. So uh, let's see. Um, kind of like a gift box. We have obviously the boards. We have a couple rubber bands, a couple smaller ones. Uh, one um, uh, wax uh, piece of wax. Um, I have it here. So and I have my favorite uh, teacup candle. There's a string, a sandpaper, and. Uh, that's all you need for the assembly. So the instruction manual is part of the board. And uh, let's see. Let's go into the manual as always, just to go over basic information. And uh, let's see boards on the side, tools on the side, everything that we need is here. And let's start with the manual. So. As always, first page, some instructions and uh, suggestions that you can use the knife or exacto knife, scalpel, to help you remove the parts, especially if they're larger and or delicate. Um, do not light up the candle. This is only for lubrication. This is not to keep you warm. Um, legend, uh, some symbols throughout the manual. We have a little candle. Candle wax with a gear and a toothpick, pretty much saying that you do need to wax the parts. Exclamation mark that you need to pay extreme attention there just to make sure that you assemble it correctly. If you see little gears with errors on there, that means the mechanisms should be working at that point of time when you check it. Uh, this is, uh, you need to verify the size, length, and the last one, it's uh, freely, uh, should be rotating easily without any hesitation, without any um, um, stoppage, just free free movement uh, or rotation. Uh, here it shows how to wax it, gears, um, list of spare components that are on the boards in case if you break them. Uh, also, you can uh, send us email if you need the replacement and if you purchased it from us, we'll replace it at no charge. Uh, or, or we can send the request to the manufacturer if he, the order was placed elsewhere. Uh, usually the shipment from manufacturer of parts uh, takes about three, four weeks. Uh, if you would like to expedite it, you can uh, pay $3.50 expedited fee uh, and we'll ship it from our warehouse via first class mail, which will take about a week. Uh, but once again, if you bought it from us, there is no charge whatsoever. So just send us email with the part number that you need, your shipping address, and the model that you need the part for. All right, so there is a spare part, or not spare, helping tool, uh, two of them. Uh, there is a helping tool right here. Uh, H2, I guess. No, uh, the one on the left of the board, top right corner. And then... Uh, I guess there's two helping tools. There is an A and there is a C. And then also there is a, this on the side, the H1. So, uh, or actually it's a combination of both maybe that you assemble, pre-assemble. Yeah, but possibly. Not sure if it shows, but feels like it that is going to be assembled. So you get one and two and then two little pieces ABC. So we'll push them aside right now. I'll set them aside. I'm not sure. Once again, I, I'm seeing that model first time, just same as you are, um, open. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it before, obviously, but uh, opening up and uh, looking at it, the instructions. Um, <laughs> so there is nothing uh, right now that it says that we need to put them together, but I have a feeling that we do. So let's just move on and start with the assembly. We're on page four. Here, the helping tool can help you for smaller parts, just push them out of the boards. Uh, and uh, we'll start with the step number one on the right hand side at the top of the page. Uh, we need part number one. 
uh, and two. So they're on the bottom right here within the little center square. So part number one and two. And then uh, we take the part number one, these two uh, little rectangles with the arrow towards pointing clockwise direction. We insert stop with the word stop facing uh, left side. So we just put it inside that little lever. And I'm going to use table just to push it through. Now the arrow is pointing clockwise direction and the stop facing left. That's our part A. Part B, that's step number one on the bottom left of the page. Uh, let's see, we need part number three and four, which are in the same within the same rectangle or square. And then uh, part number three, with the arrow facing towards you and this round off portion to the right, we insert part number four into these two rectangles right at this a little off the center. And then they should go all the way through. So there is no spacing in between here. So that's our part B. Then uh, step number one in the middle of the page, kind of. Uh, parts five, six, and seven, also within the same board. So we can use our helping tool the first time here to push the parts number six out. I'm gonna pull the whole square out just to make it easier. And then part number seven. There's part number nine on here, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, so in here, for the little hook facing towards you on the left, uh, we put part number six right at the top, too small rectangles. And then we push them in using the table as uh, balancing. And let's see, as far as they can go, both of those, so little anchors, and then part number seven is going to go into that smaller slot on the right. So, and then you push it in all the way down up until these little tabs. So it's, it's completely in there, move it to the left, that's our part number C. Now, step number one on the bottom right, that's going to be part number eight. That's this big piece on that board number one. And then we need parts number nine, 10, and 11. So nine we have on here. 10 and 11 is a little below the middle on the left side here. And part number nine. So part number nine is going to go, let's see, we need to orient this. So we turn it upside down to part number eight. So this little design is going to be facing down. And we need part number nine. There should be, let's see, little square, kind of like rectangular hole on one of the sides. So we put part number nine there. There is no direction that's symmetrical on both sides. So I'm gonna use the table as a leverage again to push it in. Uh, part number 10 is gonna go a little opening right here, kind of like straight line from that little uh, rectangular opening or square opening. Uh, once again, also same thing with part number 10, it doesn't have directionality, so it's a symmetrical part. So you can insert it with any end. And then part number 11, same thing with the tab facing outside there is another rectangular opening on the edge that is uh kind of like on um on the axis there so i went and insert it as far as it can go to make sure there's no spacing and that's our step number one and step number two we take our a with the stop and we put it on the part number nine. So we, I'm gonna use a little bit of a wax on nine. 
and just put our stub with the stub facing down so it's going to be on the outside and that's our step two on page four moving on step three uh, we take a b and b is going to go right next to these two slots with the uh, hook or anchor facing up uh, we'll insert these little tabs that are sticking out into the slot right here so it moves up and down and then over it we'll put our sub-assembly C with the uh, anchor going into the slot part number nine into that little rectangular hole and then the, these two tabs gonna go on the side here it in all the way through let's see so that this works this works so this locks need to move it and then this gonna go up and down or forward and back all right so step number five we need a 12 millimeter rubber band that's one of the little ones here that is included with the kit. Take one of those out and that's gonna go um, in a little slot on a sub-assembly A and over this little hook right here. So first we take one, we put it over the slot Feed it into the opening here. So I can fit it into the slot. Try again. So I'm pushing the rubber band into the opening feeding it over the slot, kind of stretching it a little bit and putting it over it. And then I'll put it on that little tab. That's number, that's the first rubber band. And then I take the second one and the second one's gonna go over these two little anchors. That's our step one. Then I'll take the helping tool and push it over and we put it over the that uh, anchor of the um, sub-assembly B. So just like this, you pull it over. Oop. Not that simple. Easier said than done. Now it, it's over there. So when I move that stopper over to the left, uh, the subassembly B pops in and vice versa. So when I pull it out, the stopper will lock it just like this. That's our sub assemblies, and we're done with uh, page number five, step 10. Moving on to the next page. Here's our sub assembly of the helping tool. So we need part C, part A, and two part Bs. And then part B is gonna go into these little rectangular openings on the right and left hand side of the slot and part C is going to go over them and just slide them together it should be good and that's our H2 helping part now step two on page six is going to be parts number 12 and 13 they're on the bottom right of board number one and now uh, we slide them together all the way in now 
Uh, step three, we need parts number 14, 15. They're on the left-hand side of the board. And 16, 17, they're on the right-hand side of the board. I, uh, we need to wax all of these, so you can either use the wax that is provided or your own wax. Doesn't matter. I prefer my own because it's not as flaky as the one that is provided in the kit. But I'm going to use, in the time being, the one that is provided for this assembly. Now, now part number 15, I recommend, if we're applying on the outside, we're applying a little bit of wax, I recommend to uh, send down the connection points a little bit. It's obviously, there's going to be a movement. There, and that's our 15, and then same thing. Well, I'm gonna use once again, I'm probably gonna use up that wax pretty quickly, uh, but make sure you get it in, into the teeth. And then part number 17, same thing. I would send the connection points. I'm using my own uh, filer. Um, you can use the sandpaper. And then obviously applying the wax all around it on the outside of that part number 17. And let's see. So 14 and 15 is going to go from the left hand side from the longer portion all the way in. And you lock it onto the rod all the way at the end. And then or number 15 right behind it for number 16 on the right on the shorter portion and then 17 to lock it up at the end as far as it can go and then the helping tool is going to go right over it at the end right onto the rod Let me clean up the wax a little bit to the side and then that sub assembly is going to go through the previous sub assembly that we just made all the way down so uh, now in step number one, that's what we've been checking. Uh, when you press to the left, these uh, the part B, subassembly B, will jump forward and lock the gear so you can't rotate it anymore. And then you pull it back. This one locks it and you should be able to rotate that middle mechanism or middle gear. Um, that's our step six. Moving on to the page number seven. Step one, we turn it upside down or right side up. And uh, we put parts number, let's see, 18, 19, and 20 uh, into the sub assembly. So let's see, 19 is this piece right here, right at the center, middle. Uh, parts number 18 on our site. And I'm going to use the uh, little helping tool to get these out. And then part number 20, which is within that 22 piece. Also a gear. That gear needs to be waxed. And I'm going to start waxing on the side here to make sure that's not the wax that falls off is not on the on the way. And I don't have to clean it up after a single step. All right, so that's done. Now uh, 18 is going to go in first into these little openings. Push them in. If they're a little bit too hard to push in, you can use wax. And then they'll be a little simpler and will go in much easier and quicker. So if 
once again, if they're a little too tight, or you're feeling that you're having a hard time pushing them in, a little bit of wax on the edges or ends, and then it just slides in. And then we pour number 19 right over it. All the way down, flat with the surface. And then pour number 20. All the way down. Now you can also wax this uh, rod. It'll make it even easier to put these little gears on there. But now we got it nice sitting tight. Now gears, uh, step number two, gears 21. They're on board one, they're easy to find. Um, gear number 22 right here, the one that we just pulled the 20 from, and gear, uh, and the 23. So it's, uh, from 22, we'll pull that internal piece out because we don't need it. And now we need the gears to be waxed. These little guys. All around. And as we finish that, so those go on around the, on to part number 18, around the mechanism. Then we go with the part number 22, we wax on the inside. It's gonna go over these, and uh, we need to make sure that the gears are interacting. So make sure that's part of the mechanism and then we lock it up with part number 23 over part number 18. Double checking, make sure this part is rotating and it's rotating easy. So I'm gonna do the rod, give it a few spins until you feel like a very nice and easy motion there. So it spins nice and good from the top, from the bottom, from the left. And then the more you spin, the easier it should become. Try both directions. Just work that mechanism in a little bit. And that's it, we're done with page number seven. Moving on to the page number eight. We put that in the side for now. And we need to, step one, we need to self-assemble parts number 24 and 25. So the 24s and 25s, they're all on board number one. Not sure why it's, uh, it's not showing on here. But self-explanatory. I'm gonna use my helping tool to get the parts number 25 out. And then that board I can get rid of because we're done with those. So 25 go right into the 24. Into the top hole there. And then we need to wax that on the outside of uh, part number 25. And I would wax the bottom portion of it too, just to make it easier to insert. And these three will go into the holes right at the bottom of that sub-assembly. When you 
use the uh, wax, they're gonna go in much, much easier. And uh, let's see, then step number three, uh, we need to take part number 26, which is on board number two now. And that would be right at the top here. And inside I wax these little tabs just for easy installation. And then we pull these a little bit outside and we need to push this part down to the center holes of the part number 24. So just careful pulling those apart. And once you get it aligned, just push it in. them to set them in place and then part number 27 right on the outside of 26 take the center piece out that's extra material on there and that goes over um, I guess not all the way down but we keep it up at the top here so uh, let it sit a little bit. Don't breathe at it. Part no, uh, step number, uh, page number nine, step number five. We need parts twenty-eight, and we need eight of those. So they're all on board number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the left-hand side. Now with the longer extension here uh, towards the top, we put these and what guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wax a little bit the tabs. on both parts. Once again, insert on the bottom and insert at the top. Eight times. up very easy and fairly quick carefully applying pressure from uh, when you insert it into the holes once again if the these little tabs are waxed it's gonna slide in much easier and it said we're step six is done Make sure everything is sitting properly. And as far as they can go, uh, moving on to the page number 10. I'm gonna put that mechanism aside for a second. Step number one, let me clean up mess here. Uh, step number one. We need parts number 30 and 29. 29 is top to right corner. And parts number 30, there's all over the place. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they're gonna go into the outside. with the hole facing towards the middle. I'm gonna use the little bit of a wax just to make it easier. To get them inside. Yep, it's much easier with the wax. And 
And then we're going to uh, step two. We need part number 31. That's the large piece right here. And right in the middle, large gear. Take out the middle portion. That's extra material in there. And once again, I wax the uh, little tabs just to easier assembly. And then we need to wax on the outside and inside. So outside of the gear and then inside these little tabs. On the inner diameter. And then that's gonna go over the parts number 30. And we put them into the corresponding holes. Don't forget to line them up before squeezing it. And with the gear facing up, we insert it right into the center of the mechanism. Sorry. As I said it, and there's uh, these little three tabs, I'll wax them too. And we assemble the port right on top. Make sure everything sits nice and tight on there. And then we should have some movement. Fairly easy. Step number one on the right hand side of the uh, page. We need parts number 32, 33, two 32s and two 33s. 32s are in the top right corner. So our 33s, a little cluster here. Use our helping tool, get 32s out. Uh, let's see, put those into the little rectangular holes. Two on top of it. And that's our part D. Moving on to the page number 11. I'm going to put it on the side, that part D. Uh, step number one. We need part number 35. 34, top right corner. Thirty-five is in the center on the right, and we insert. We need to wax this uh, little thirty-four. Send off the connection points. Wax it on the outside. Wax the tabs on part number thirty-five. And the tab's gonna go right into center of the part number 34. And then for parts number 36, they're at the top right. And with the, uh, well, there's only kind of one way you can insert them with the tabs facing out. Put those four into the holes. And then we need part number 34, which is on top there. Same thing, send it, get the connection points out. And wax it. I'm almost running out of the wax that was provided with the model. And that goes over these guys and 
I'm not sure what would be the best way to start it off because it's kind of tough to match all five holes right away. Looks like we'll match two. All right, and then I'm going to use the table to get it all the way in. And that's our part E. Put it on the side. Step number one on the right hand side at the top there. We need two parts number 38. They're at the on the right hand side there at the center. One part number 37. It's a little below on the right hand side. Now we need to wax these little washers, star washers. Or not washers, the gears, sorry. Wax the uh, Paddles, teeth, whatever you want to call them, all around, and then make sure, exclamation point, they're facing counterclockwise direction. We insert 37 from the bottom. So as you look at them from the top, the round off portion is going to be on a clockwise side, and straight portion is going to be on a counterclockwise I guess two of them at the same time doesn't work very well so we're gonna do one at a time and we're gonna apply a little bit of a wax because it doesn't come on very easy much better and join them together uh, make sure that the picture matches the way your washer looks or gear looks like then we need part number 39 and 40 so 39 right below 37 I'm gonna use the little helping tool there And 40 is going to be right above it, right at the center. So I'm um, just in case. Send. And wax our part number 39. Although it doesn't look like it's going to be interacting with, any, with anything, but just be on a safe side. And then part number 41. Whichever wax I'm using now. That's going to go over. And then 41s to lock it on both ends. There's four of them here. We just need two. And 41s, uh, the connection points, just in case. It looks like it's a straight piece there. So it's not really a cylinder, more like a round part. Uh, but we need to wax it on the outside anyway. I already switched to my regular wax. And it's just an, any candle wax that uh, you have. Somebody was asking if you can use the birthday cake, uh, cake candles. Sure, I don't see reason why you wouldn't or couldn't. Now let's see. And the other side. So both ends are on. And that's our F. Just make sure that the picture matches with what's shown on there. And we should be all good. And then step number one on the bottom, we need part 42 and 43. Uh, so 43 on the bottom right. And let's see, 42 is right below it. So with that little 
um, piece right here, the sticking out piece facing on the right hand side facing you. We insert the 43 from uh, from behind and with a thicker portion with the two marks towards the top, we insert it in as far as it can go. Next step two is we need part number 44 and 45. So 44 in the bottom right, uh, 45 is on the bottom left. These gonna go with that round off portion facing towards you. These gonna go from the top, a little wax to make it go in easier. And actually with the shorter point, shorter, or it's facing down there's little tabs and then this piece is gonna go right over it the way we were holding it as far as it can go join them together sandwich them together then part number 44 and part number 44 wants to lock it up gonna use a little bit of sending and waxing and put a wet waxer around guys gonna go over these uh, tabs on the top and bottom squeeze them together and that's our part G moving on to the page, page number 12 okay so we need a string about 13 inches long <coughs> or 330 millimeters we need uh, thirty three centimeters. I'm measuring on my table because I got a piece of string here that is three hundred thirty in the straight length. So I'm going from, let's see, if I do from 20, so you guys can see from 20 all the way down to 53. That puts it at uh, 30, 330 millimeter, uh, millimeters or 33 centimeters. You wrap it or fold it in half and create a nut at the end. So it's approximate length going to be to the nut, about 100 50 millimeters or 5.9 inches make a nice good nut it's easy just wrap it around the finger bring it over and onto inside and you create a nut and then we need two rubber bands that are five millimeters thick and uh, 60 millimeters in diameter we take the string we bring it through one uh, through both rubber bands right or just one yep both and open it up and bring it over and tie it up. So now we need to make sure that one is within the other, kind of, and tie that string onto rubber bands. Now we're gonna take, gonna put them aside for now, uh, part number 47 and 46, they're right here on the bottom. Part number 48, that's for the step seven. 
on part number 49 and 50 for the step nine, uh, eight. So 47, 46 on the bottom, 47 on the top, one into another. Insert and take part number 48. We uh, wax a little bit these little tabs. Get extra wax out of it, out of the way. Now, uh, when you insert it, so the hole is on the bottom, but you, when you insert 48 on the top, make sure your openings or these little tabs facing counterclockwise direction as shown on the picture on the step eight. So you insert it and you push it all the way down, just like this. And then part number 49, which is the larger one, we need to send and wax. And same thing with the fifth, you will send the connection points and wax it. So 50 is gonna go on the bottom, it's a smaller piece. And 49 is gonna go on the top. Squeeze them as far as they can go, both of these, and we're done with step number eight. Step number nine, we take that rubber band piece, we push the string through the hole. And open it up, pull the rubber bands through and pull on the string. Oop, oop. So you created a little loop on here to hold that subassembly. Now we have our H, subassembly H. Now we take our big assembly and we take that part helping tool out, off, by kind of like slowly moving it up and down a little bit. And now we insert part number uh, A, F. That's with these guys. With the gear facing down, we insert it through one of these little holes right here, close to the big gear. Make sure the gears are interact interacting. And the part E, it doesn't matter which way, it's gonna go in the hole that is to the left of it in my so I'm holding it very similar to the picture. Now part H is the one that with the rubber band with these little uh, opening gears with, I mean, I guess it's a gear or a stopping tool or whatever uh, into the hole right here. Rubber bands are hanging on the side right now. And our last step is part number G. Now let's see with that little mechanism with the uh, little hook facing towards the left, that's gonna go into the hole right here next to the star gear, just like this. So now we're looking at the picture on the right with exclamation point. So we got our E right here our age with the openings kind of facing to a counterclockwise direction. Uh, the little star with a round off portion facing clockwise direction. And uh, the G with a hook towards uh, away to the left a little bit. So that's how it looks. The uh, uh, rubber bands are hanging on the side and we're moving to the page number 14. So as we're moving to the page number 14, Let's see, uh, we need to 
somehow hold it and take part number 51, which is right at the center of the uh, board number two. And this is the last part, so we can get rid of board number two. And we need uh, two wags on the uh, outside of the gears a little bit. Let's see if I can hold this part somehow. And probably not. Nope. Now I'm gonna carefully set it on the side, just like this, so I can work. And I'm gonna wax on the outside of the gear. And since we waxed an internal component right there, I'm not gonna wax here, so I'm gonna grab some of the leftovers, flaky parts. And we wax all around. Now the gears, uh, these little teeth need to face clockwise direction based on the picture and we insert it over that little tab interlocking with the center with, with the center gear I'm just gonna leave it on the side right now and then part number 52 on board number three that's that large piece right here uh, make sure you take the 53 out. I'm gonna push it from the back. Put it on the side right now with U gears approximately in this location right here. There's a tab that's where the hole's gonna go to. We put that thing over. We can probably only fit it one way. And now you just need to make sure that all the little gears line up properly. Squeeze it together. whole sub-assembly together make sure to apply the pressure on the right point so you don't break that piece and next right at the center uh, at this little um, cross we put the part number D with the little round off portion Towards inside. And we insert it all the way in. So you need to make sure that these arrows are facing clockwise direction. And then H2, we put right at the center, I guess to keep it together for now. Moving on to the page number 15. We turn it upside down and we take that rubber band, bring it all around and let's see where we hook it onto this little tab right here. So it's gonna be right around this guy and onto the tab. Give it a couple twists. To tie it up if it's loose uh, this is the uh, portion that you're twisting it with and the gear uh, the rubber band is going to be sitting right here so now it's nice and tight just a little bit of a pressure and we put a 53 
right onto this part right here. Locking the rubber band in. Just like so. That's our step eight. Moving on to the page number 16. Part number 54. On board number three. And that goes with the one tab into the hole. And I put a little bit of a wax on it. And smaller tabs into the bottom holes. So we do into the hole first. And then on the bottom, insert it into this one, just like that. Uh, and we do that six times. So we need all six of these 54s. These are the spare components, just in case. Once again, I'm gonna wax all these little tabs here. So it's easier to insert them. And let's go all around. So we're inserted into the top portion first. And then onto the bottom. Next one. Top first. And onto the bottom. Top first. And onto the bottom. Top. Bottom. And the last one. Top. And bottom. That's our step number 10 is complete. Now we need to take a large rubber band. Let me clean off the table again. It's a spare or extra part. Uh, we need a rubber band. Cut into the small fifteen millimeter pieces. So this is ten. That's about 15 millimeters. So we need six of those. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Uh, now we need part number 55. And we'll need six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then part number 56, also six of them on the bottom of board number three. take each 56 we wrap the rubber band around 55 right around the middle post there and it's gonna go in the middle hole just like this I'm gonna use the table as the leverage until the rubber band sticks out on that side it's gonna prevent from moving do it six times six one two three four five 
So I'm going to start these off. I don't want to put a uh, wax on there just uh, because there's going to be little feet. So I don't want it to fall out. So the more traction, the more friction there is, the better it is. So I'm just going to force those parts in. against uh, using the table as the leverage pushing those in all the way just like that for all six parts all right we're done now we're moving on to the page number 17 and step number four we insert these guys into these little tabs um, in between just like this all around so make sure the rubber band sticks out not the piece that we were securing it with and just go all around putting these on now we're done with step number five now moving on to the step number six we're checking make sure our little gear works here so we're stopping it first now we're turning it upside down and now we're checking the mechanism. So we do six times 180. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we pull onto this little piece right here with the round off portion. And our mechanism is supposed to move. If it doesn't, we need to give it a little push somehow and see where it's not moving or why it's not moving. We need to make sure that mechanism is working before we go further. Okay, so I see some movement here. So I'm moving that pendulum. Making sure that it is actually unwinding. So there's a lot of friction in the wood. So uh, some unwinding needs to be done. Since we just installed all these components together, obviously there's going to be a lot of friction into it. So we need to work this up until it's very easy to move it. So once again, we lock it, continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, work it up. A little bit of a movement that's a progress so continue help it up help it out a little bit until it's moving nice and freely 
this is essential step of uh, mechanism just to make sure that everything is operating before we proceed of installing other stuff onto it. I liked it. All right, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Keep on going until it's unwound completely. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little too much. The mechanism is moving with a little hesitation. playing with it until we have the full motion. One more time. Again, I, I want it to go very easy. And one more. So we got enough motion, at least in one full revolution there. And the more you play with it, the easier it's going to go. 
with every single time. So I'm just gonna leave it aside for now and let it kind of settle into itself too. And we're moving into the page number 18. Okay, uh, page 18, step one, we need two parts number 58, part number 57, and these are spare on board number three. So we're gonna put it aside for now because there's still one part that we need. So moving on to the board number uh, four. So we need part number 57, whichever one you grab on that, there's in the center, there's a couple on the bottom there. 258 there's uh they're also on the sides here so let's take two out for now and one part 59 top left corner we'll start with one all right so we need to wax these uh rod And we need to wax parts number 58. So the connection points are on the side, so we should be okay. I'm just waxing on the outside. Now 58 with the 58 gonna go on the shorter side there. Now let's see, there's with the flat portion looks like in a vertical direction as I'm holding the part. So two of them on the end, uh, 59 goes from the bottom, right? Right here, uh, we'll wax that part also. And then, as I said, a rod, then we insert H1 into here. So that's to, in order to push the 60 and 61. Uh, so 60 is right here at the center. And 61 gonna be, I have some on the bottom right here. Uh, just one of those. And we do need to make sure that you clear off any uh, extra material that might be stuck on a gear. I'm gonna wax that gear, very good. Every single tooth. And then uh, we insert it. With the, uh, what is called the rectangular hole in a vertical direction. So this is the H tool is just to, to give you, um, so you can uh, balance, um, so you can push it on, um, on the part and easily get it over there. Uh, 61 all the way to the gear. And uh, let's see, that's done. Next we need part number 58, another one. Also needs to be waxed. I'm gonna put it in the same orientation as the 58s on the other side. Then part number 62. Uh, there's also a few of them on here. Uh, bottom left. 62, put it on and then lock it with the 61. Here's a second one. And then uh, we need part number 63, uh, which is gonna be, let's see, right here, or top left, I guess, and then another 61. Or actually, no, sorry, 64. Scratch that, I'm gonna put 61 on the side. 
64. Uh, so 64 is uh, on the bottom here and top on the right hand side of the center line. So good thing I looked at the menu. Uh, 64 also needs wax all around. So 63 goes in to the 62. Uh, put a little wax on the tabs. As I feel it, that is not going very easy. Much smoother and then 64 on the bottom here. As far as it can go, so I just add the end and then 65 on the edge. 65 is top uh, top of the center here. And then with the tab on top of the part 63, I already waxed it. And then with the holes gonna be over 64. And now this portion needs to rotate freely around the axis. And that's, uh, we need four of these parts to be made. So I'm gonna put it on the side. Uh, I'm gonna wind up also uh, to continue playing with the uh, sub assembly. Just gonna wind it up and let it play a little bit. So, cause we do need to uh, make sure it's operational and fully operational, fully functioning before we install the full assembly. Cause it's gonna get heavier. And it's gonna be heavier on the operation. So just uh, once in a while, continue playing with it while you're assembling other stuff. All right, I'm just gonna let it unwind and uh, go ahead and assemble three more of these uh, little sub assemblies. So we need parts number 58. Three of those for the future. Part number 59, 57, 60, 61. We'll have two 61s here. Uh, 62, 63. and 65 all right let's see 61 two of those now um, let's see we need two 64 and all these uh, round pieces are marked uh, so to make sure you don't uh, accidentally use it elsewhere so now waxing so part number 57 tabs for 63 i'm just grabbing all the random parts i have on the table 59 all the 58s all around Sixty one's no need sixty four. All right, so uh, let's see two fifty eight. Fifty-nine from the bottom. Sixty. 
62, 61, 62, 63, and 65. Nope, 58, 64, sorry. Almost forgot that one. Sixty-five, two. We do that two more times. I'll actually take all the parts out. I'm taking the full set out, two full sets out. So I'll wax everything right away. Separate them a little bit. So Sometimes it's just easier to break up the parts or break up the little boards. Alrighty. So we wax everything that needs to be waxed. Once again, parts 58, 59, a little bit of 57, the gears number 60, and then uh, part 64. Let's see, 64 is just with the little dashes mark, dash marks. So uh, part number 63, just the tabs. Once again, if you can insert them easily, it should be good. But if you need a little bit of a pressure, if you put a little bit of a wax on there, it's gonna, they're gonna go in much easier and smoother. All right, put that aside. 
Now let's start putting the parts on. Next, part number 60 and uh, 61. And then part number 58 again. Let's see, 58 is there, 62, 61, 63, 64, and 65. All right, so we complete our assembly on page number 18. Once again, free, sp free spinning. Uh, and let me check, all of them are good. And let's see, the next step is uh, page number 19. And we do four times little horses. So steps, uh, actually there are eight horses. And so we need heart number 66 and 68. They're on board number five. There's 66 and 68 right here. We'll start with that. Then we need parts number 69. There are also three of them. Let's see, three for each set. So we need, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. part number 71 and 73 72's 72's gonna be on the previous page oh and 67's And now we need to, uh, let's see, part number 70. We need four of those. That's a 76. 70. Seventy. Make sure you pull out the seventies, not seventy-sixes. All right. So we think we got all the parts that we need. We need, since we're waxing, we need to wax this top portion here and the rod here. Alright, 
So the horses are waxed and we're gonna start with part number 66, 67 and 68. One at a time. So 66, 68, 67, 369s, is going to go with the face to the right so front leg saddle and rear leg leg back leg all the way through and then we put 72 in the center, 73 in the front, and that's our horsey one. So I'm gonna throw those inside the board and we continue pretty much the same thing. So 68 in the front, that's three dots on, uh, on the top, 69 in the back, 66 sorry in the back, three parts of the 69s, Make sure the legs are facing the right direction. And that they're in correct orientation. Also the saddle. Just make sure that everything sits nice and tight. And then the last one on that left hand side. That's our courses J or sub assemblies J.
All right, and that one's done. That's said. Moving on to the right hand side of the page, we got steps one and two, uh, very similar things except different parts. So those are gonna be case, and we need parts number, uh, let's see, 74, 75. They're on the right hand side. Uh, once again, bunch of 69s. One, two, three, four sets. Then we need 77s and 78s. Good. A uh, bunch of 76s or four to be exact. They're similar location as 70s except right next to those. And then 67s and 72s. I think 67 and 72 are the same outline. They're just facing uh, the mirror image of each other, so they're facing a different direction. All right, and we're done with board number four. So I can go into the garbage. And once again, wax the rods. Okay, so uh, let's see, 74, 75, 75 on the front, 74 on the back, 67, Sixty-nines. Take a horse, front leg, back leg, and a saddle. And then the uh, fronts are seventy-two. Seventy seven and now back. Seventy eight is it in the front. All the way in, that's our case. We're gonna put them aside on a uh, so you can put it away from the other ones from the J's. And we'll just go through the same sequence pretty much three more times. And two more.
horse. Let's see, 78 and 77. One more. So a lot of repetition with this, but uh, at the end you have a beautiful result. Carousel is a pretty popular item. It's, uh, I'd say, fan favorite almost. It does look pretty. It does operate well. It's a uh, nice design. And kids love it. Adults love it. So... Right, so front leg, saddle, back leg. Seventy eight on the front, saddle, and seventy seven on the back. All right, so we're done with page number nineteen. Moving on to the page number 20. Now uh, we take these sub assemblies. We take a J. That's the first one that we assembled. And then these uh, longer piece push through it with the um, horse facing this way. And then we push it through the first set. I guess mm -hmm. it goes in the middle here and these parts go up we'll do it one more time with the so you push it through up until it gets to the center so the horse facing that way the tabs facing up two of these that's our IJ, I guess. Then we do IKs, same thing. Push it through into the second of that part 59. Horse is facing that direction. And then we take part number 79, which is on board number six. It's right at the center, that little cross piece. And let's see, and we do IK. That's the second one that we assembled. I'm putting it onto this section. So with the, let's see, Rod goes through that center piece. No. Second square hole. And then part these parts that are sticking the tabs are going into the two second holes. Then IJ is gonna go right next to it. Same scenario. Make sure they're sitting all the way in. Then we need to lock these two with part number 80s. They're on board number five. We need two of them. And let's see, we push them in under the angle that goes over this um, long part, I guess, not, not like a little further down. And then you 
push it into the uh, top there on both sides. Just like this, you push it in and turn it 90 degrees and then push the part into the holes. And that's it, we're done with that side. Now we're moving on to the page number 22. Then we take the IJ, they're gonna be across from each other. So IJ on here. So like in a, one line. And then IK. It's actually four, a third hole down the line that we're inserting the rod into. So that's IJ. IJ doesn't have a year. Wait. Or that IJ has ear, IK does not have ear on a horse. I guess that's the, the, the way we distinguish it. And let's see, part number 80s again, two. So once again, we push it through. it's along the long way and actually perfectly perpendicular to the part careful inserting those we're done with page number 22 now page number 23 we take part number 81 which is on board number five on the bottom right here and we insert it from the bottom fitting all these holes and locking all these guys together. Just need to line them up and then squeeze it on. That's our step five. And our step six, we're gonna do JK on the same. So like if it's a J, you put a K on and so on. So it's, you do the opposite. So whichever one, so you see easy way to distinguish there is no ear this is an ear so we just do the opposite into the second hole so it kind of goes under the angle and then you bring it over and feed this uh, little round piece in there and then we just go all around Okay, and I made a mistake, so I have to redo it. I told you one thing, the completely opposite. So we'll need to separate these, at least two of them. To fix my boo boo. I take one uh, the horse out and two of the part number 80s part from the middle So 
let's see here. So I just need to replace two of these. And as I said, you do the opposite or across. And I did not do that. So now I need to fix the mistake I made in order to have a better sequence of these. Uh, here we go. So it's an easy fix. And I apologize, I was not paying attention to what I was doing, but I was paying attention to what I was saying. So I said the right thing, did the wrong thing. And right now we're opposites, yep. And now we put the 80s back on, so we're all good. that I took out. Now the part in the center. All the way in. Now back to the where I was. So ear, no ear. Push it in and then pull it out carefully to get the around inside the uh, that little loop ear no ear and it's easier if you rotate this down no ear ear and then the last one ear no ear. We're done with page number 23. It took a little longer than expected just because I had to fix it. Step number seven, we already completed it. Step number eight, we need part number 82. Uh, so let's see, port number 82, it is on board, make sure that we're done with the board number 3, because there's a spare 82, so I'm going to put it aside. I'm putting it in the garbage, but I'm not throwing it away yet, until I'm done with the assembly, do not do that, just in case if you require spare parts. So we start with the 82, and we need 4 of them. So they all four are on board number six. And with the long leg extending down, uh, we're pushing 82 through this little hole. So the triangular piece is towards the top. We do it all around. step just shows that we're done with the assembly it shows which ones are J's and which ones are K's uh, and we're gonna put it aside right now so step number one on page 25 the top step one we need part number 83 and 84 four of them so 83 is gonna be on board number five so one two, three, four, they even separated for us to make it easier. And then parts number 84, they're on board number six, uh, scattered kind of like in the center and the right. So we need four of those two. Now we turn these with a sharp point to top right, top left, sorry. We insert 84 with that little wiggly thing facing up into the second hole right here with the tap, one fa tap facing down. And we repeat it three more times.
that's our L's. Now, step one below, there's our M's, once again. Uh, four more 83s. Now with the sharp point facing top right instead of left. And four more of 84s. And same thing, except it's just going to be mirror image. Now we take four parts, 85 on board number six. They're kind of like around the center there. And let's see, so little square hole on the left, opening on the right, part M. Gonna go on the right hand side. Part L is gonna go on the left hand side. One. Two. Three. Four. Now these gonna go on the ends right here. So they're gonna go between the two. And let's see, so the tab. Mm -hmm. See on one side there are two holes, so you gotta get this little tab and this one into the corresponding holes. You need to wiggle these parts a little bit. So this and this hole, and then on the other end, just one hole there. And then we're gonna go all around. That would be our step number two. Kind of like matching all these one to another. One hole versus two holes. Make sure the holes are matching and fit in all the way in, sitting or all the way in. And your horses, the that rod that is on the horses will fit in the holes in between so there's two holes that are being are there now that's where the uh, horses will go to so as you can see right here i didn't put it correctly so i need to remove this part carefully put the horse back in there and I'll put the part back
it's easier to see so i need to rotate the angles a little bit in order to be able to see it properly make sure once again the horses are sitting right in, in the corresponding openings holes on all sides so i'm going to fit it into those holes first put the part in turning it upside down to to see to fit it in properly and then the last one once again the horses jumped out a little bit the rods but to get it back in and line it up correctly so now that's our cap so everything is locked that's our step three is completed and now we need to make sure that all the horses are moving properly so you want when one part moves up the second part goes down and so on just like this and that's where you're checking to make sure that there is so if you kind of can squeeze the fingers in there and rotate the gear that's they're gonna go up and down like this and make sure you check all four corners to make sure that they are operational before you proceed any further and all my four are operational so we're good to go step number five we put that sub assembly over the top Let's see, squeeze it in, push it over, it's a cross, so you need to make sure that it goes in, and then cross at the top, kind of goes into the cross at the top, and at the same time the gears will fit into the interlock with each other on all sides just make sure the gears are sitting all right now it's all good and it's locked Uh, so two on the outside, two on the inside. So let's do, you can still probably lift it up a little bit, rotate it. So I want these two to be kind of like in a sequence rather than just random, just like this. So two on the inside. Here I need to rotate, press the gear a little bit. So as you rotate them around, they will go up and down. So our next step, we're done with the carousel for now. Uh, next step is uh, page number 28. We need to make four of the 89 and 90 sub-assemblies. So let's get the 89, 90s. those and now we take the 90 put it over 89 
and then creating a little cylinders. Need to kind of line them up and push it hard. Let's see, there is a sharp points. So sharp points need to face down. In both cases. And I'm using my table once again. To push these two together. Oops. That went sideways. There you go. Got four of these ready. And then step number two, we need to assemble birds. Part number 91 and 92. So four of those. They're in the corners, top right, and then bottom left. So here we got the body of the bird and then the wings gonna go right over the top. Let's see at the bottom there at the at the end. And push it in. So from the back. Towards the top towards the front. And now the little guys are gonna rotate it a little bit. So the little guys are gonna go on the, let's see, it doesn't matter which sequence you're gonna go to. So one on the inside, one on the outside, and so on. So I'll just put it on these little horses. I would hold the rod from the bottom and try to fit in. doesn't come in one way try a second way rotate it 90 degrees try it again and push it on So I have two on the inside, two on the outside. And once again, they don't fit one side, but they did fit the other direction. And then the bird's gonna go facing towards, let's see, in the direction of movement. The moment of truth at the same time. So direction of movement is that way lock it up and we put the birds onto the facing in direction same direction as the horses I guess that could have been another way to check it rather than running it but at the same time I checked if it works or not Birds on there. And our last bird. Uh, let's see, it doesn't fit very well. 
but let me rotate it a little bit. All right, so it sticks out. I'm gonna hold it and push the bird on. Take the wings off and put them back on. All right, so it sits on here now. We're done with step number four on page 28. Moving on to page 29, step one, parts number 86 and 87. So 86, let's see, 86 gonna be on board number five. It's that big, large, tall piece. Nothing else on board. Five except the spare parts. Now board number six. Uh, we need part number 87. It's in the bottom right corner. So now we insert it right here at this little uh, slot. Make sure we line it up and insert it as far as it can go. All right, so that's our part right here and then we need three times part number 88 and 87 so all the 88s are on uh, board number six and those are the last parts for the assembly and there's board no, part number three i think it's the last one so i know we're doing the same thing and just inserting at that eight edge thicker edge we're inserting that part number 87 in as far as it can go all right and now on that part number 89 that's the one with the flag it's gonna go on one of the edges let's see Okay, so there's like a little four holes, rectangular holes all around. So we just need to make sure that it goes through that hole right there, fits right in, I guess. Or maybe not that hole first. So let's do the top hole first. So there's a tab here. So insert it here and then we just fit it in into the other one. So that's the way to do it. And then we go, my assumption, <laughs> move to the page number 30. We go three times, pretty much do the same thing. Insert it at the top and then fit it in the bottom here. Insert it at the top, fit it in on the bottom. And the last one, insert it at the top. And then fit it in on the bottom. Just like that. Now we turn it upside down for the step number five on page 30. We take the that H2 out and we put part number 93, which is in the board number six. That's the last part on that board. Some spare components there. I'd recommend to keep them for the future just in case if uh, something breaks and then you put the part number 93 on the bottom as far as it can go and that's it uh, now we're at the end of the assembly so as before we push that to the side to stop it there's a word stop on there then we turn it upside down and the winding mechanism we do one, two, three, four, five in my case. You can do up to six if it's completely unwound. And then you pull that little lever, round lever out of inside and the carousel works. 
So obviously in the beginning, it's gonna give you a little bit of hesitations in some certain spots, but uh, the more you operate it, obviously all the gears gonna sit in place, so they all gonna adjust to each other, and eventually it's gonna move much smoother and easier all around. And so uh, I'd recommend playing with it. Obviously, as I said, all the burrs and everything else gonna go away. And the more you play with it, the smoother it's gonna become. So this is our first try on the full assembly. I mean, considering how many parts are in there moving, it is actually pretty good. I'm surprised that it moved that much, but uh, just make sure that the rubber band is somewhat unwound. And now we'll do it one more time. Lock it. Turn it upside down and then one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do seven. And once again, push it out. And there's a little bit more movement than the first time. So with every single movement, as I explained, it's gonna be easier and simpler. So you can go further until it's completely unwound. Just make sure you push it in the direction that it needs to go. Check the rubber band, make sure it's completely. Then you can see that little string in there. And let's do it one more time. Let's see, lock it first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, once again, make sure it's six of the 180, not six of 360. So it's only half turn, so like halfway through. So it's three full turns. Um, and once again, just pull that level, uh, lever out, and there it goes. So now even more, so a little bit of a hesitation, but as I said, the more you play, the easier it's gonna become. So that completes our assembly. If there are any questions, let us know. Uh, you can leave a comment below the video, or you can send us email to info at uh, ugears.us. Uh, replacement parts, uh, send the information on what part you need. Um, the email address is info at ugears.us. Uh, let us know the part number, uh, if possible, the picture of the part, address where you want us to ship it, and uh, if it was purchased from uh, purchased from us or from one of our affiliates, we'll ship it at no charge from uh, Chicago Warehouse, Illinois Warehouse, and uh, if uh, it was purchased elsewhere, we can order it for free from the manufacturer at no charge, or uh, for a small $3.50 fee, we can ship it from our warehouse. Once again, thank you for being with us. Uh, let us know what other models would you like us to put on a video. Uh, there's going to be a few more that I'm going to be doing in the near future, catching up, doing some catch up, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, this was uh, Dimitri with uh, You Kids LLC, uh, doing business as You Gears US, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.